Hey guys, what's up? It's Claudia Fernandez and I just want to thank the Holy Spirit right now for this moment in time and space that we have together. Heavenly Father, take control of this moment and help me release whatever it is that you want me to share with your people. In your holy name I pray, amen and amen. You guys, it's been an interesting couple of months. So many things have happened, but God is literally in control. And I'm going to share a, a few things with you guys because I feel called to make these videos at times. And so right now it's one of those moments where it's more of a spare spare of the moment but I'm leaving soon to Spain I'm gonna go see my dad which I haven't seen in eight years and that is far too long for the cost of a flight to Spain to Barcelona the flights are only like eight hundred seven hundred dollars there's no reason why I haven't seen my dad for my entire life when flights are that inexpensive. So that's one thing. Um, I don't really have this video organized like I do in my previous videos where I, I have like a topic, like I'm gonna talk about this and I'm gonna stick to it. Like right now, I'm just, I'm just sharing the moment with you guys and I just took my shower I'm getting ready for bed and I was reading my journal actually and it says YouTube video on being centered and living within yourself. So let's talk about that a little bit. So being centered, you have to really know what you like, what you dislike and sometimes even you have to go with the flow. Even though you plan stuff, sometimes things don't work out in your favor. And that's with a lot of things in life, especially getting older. I'm actually 30 years old now. My birthday was on the 19th of March. Um, and on that same day, I actually got my car stolen. On the same day of my birthday, I went to the movie theaters with my friend to celebrate my birthday. We were all sitting in row C. Uh, we went to see... Dune part two and um, when I left the movie theaters I realized that I was with my friend and I realized that uh, my car was missing I know where I parked and it wasn't there we went to the security guard across the street and he couldn't find it around the the, the center area of the premises he couldn't find the car we went back into the movie theaters to see if they had cameras, but they didn't. So, so yeah, it, it got stolen. It's, it's a Kia. It's a 2018 Kia Optima that got stolen. And it's basically these little hood rats of children that are stealing people's cars and belongings and they don't get in trouble because they're under the age so they get away with a lot of criminal activity and they don't get penalized for it and they're affecting people's lives you know because I've been without a car since the 19th of March it's almost May so yeah um, I had to go through like a process with the insurance company. It's still not settled. My insurance, unfortunately, can't provide me a rental car. So I'm literally on foot walking around. People are asking me, hey, I saw you walking. Why are you on foot? Like, what happened to your car? And I have to like explain myself like... My car got stolen, da, da 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 But nonetheless, guys, God has been so good to me. He has been so good to me. Literally, like, 
so many positive things have happened in my life from receiving money from unknown sources in my bank account to just feeling free like I'm walking but I'm doing my prayer walks it's like amazing you know being with the Lord it's amazing I really truly if you don't have a relationship with Jesus I truly believe that you should try to have a relationship with God because he can literally change your life overnight just in a blink of an eye your life can change you'll walk into a new destiny guys and girls it's amazing and you'll meet amazing people and if you start you know if you have communion with other believers you'll realize how amazing they are and their testimonies the thing about christianity is people think that you have a perfect background because you're a christian and that's not the case we have ex-addicts we have ex-strippers we have um i mean we have a lot of people that have done a lot of crazy things in their lives and they're still they're still fighting the good fight of having a righteous life after all of that darkness you know what i mean like Life is not easy, and I'm starting to get into these moments in my life where when I speak to people, I'm speaking to them as if this was my last moment with you, as if, because you never know what could happen in life. So if this is my last moment with you, I just want to share these messages and just say, God is with you. You're never alone. There's a God inside of you. You just have to tap into him and get it out so you can be creative and you can do the things that you love and you can follow your passion. For myself, is traveling. So I'm actually going to Barcelona on the 1st of May. I am excited, but I'm also very mellow about it. And it's like, wow, like I'm actually going to go see my dad and my sister and her family and be with them and stuff and I'm excited and I'm I think I just want to save it because I want to save my enthusiasm for when I get there to actually experience in the moment of what's happening but guys Christianity people have it so backwards they think that people just have these clean backgrounds and they've they're innocent and they've never done anything bad in life and all kinds of stuff and it's not like that at all some people are criminals i mean look at the bible look at the people look at paul in the bible like everything that he did in his life I mean, that's just opening up a whole other can of worms. Look at Moses. Look what Moses did, guys. And God still used them. God, I don't know who's who this message is for, but God still used Moses. God still used Paul to accomplish his mission, his purpose. So just because you're in the darkness or just because you're going through something in life doesn't mean that you can't be used by God. Or just because you've sinned or you've done something doesn't mean that you can't be used by God. God is using each and every one of us every single day. It's just we're not aware of how God is using us. And you guys, I really just want to give a shout out to all the people in my life that are rooting for me, that are supporting my channel, that are there for me i know sometimes i go on a hiatus i disappear but that's only because i have to deal with life and sometimes i i can't put youtube first i'm sorry like i have a relationship with god i have a relationship with my husband i have a family that needs me too and my friends my christian brothers and sisters my non-christian brothers and sisters everybody and i know i want to be more consistent with youtube but sometimes guys i it's an anointing thing it's an anointing thing 
um, I'm all packed. Uh, I mean, I'm still waiting on my husband to get here from Nigeria. We're up, we're pretty much up next for interview letters, guys. And my life is going to change once he's here. So you guys, I just, I don't mean to just get you guys all, I mean, how can I explain this? I'm not making this video for you guys to be sad for me or anything like that. It's just an update. This is what I've been going through. This is what's been happening. I've been getting a lot of blessings left and right. Financially, thank God. He's definitely opening like windows and doors for me. And having a car stolen really does change your life because then you think, what else can be stolen from me? What else is the enemy going to take from me? Now I'm more aware, like, where's my purse? Where's my wallet? Uh, Where's this? Where's that? I'm more, like, on top of my things, you know, because never in my life would I have, like, known that that was going to happen to me. And I lost a lot of stuff, too, because that same morning I went to the gym, so I had, like, all of my personal belongings with me like my shampoo my conditioner and you know these things aren't cheap when you go to the store it's expensive to buy these things i'm sorry like they overpriced the bottles and they're smaller than they were before especially the brands that i use like it sucks to get these things stolen and they were brand new that's what makes me a little bit upset it's like these things were brand new i had to rebuy everything from my hairbrush to my conditioner my shampoo my uh i had a watch in there like my favorite watch even though it was old it was my favorite watch i've had it since i was in hawaii and it got stolen my shoes my my gym clothes i just not long ago, I just bought those gym pants, and I know God is going to replace everything for me, but I'm just letting you guys know that these things do happen. Cars do get stolen, and it's just a material thing. Like, like I got to be real with you guys, and I know so many different people can watch my YouTube channel, but in a way, it's like God released me from this. Because I was paying a car payment and I was paying insurance. <sighs> and I was literally coming to zero dollars because I had these bills. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm working on my credit. But I read somewhere once and on Twitter, I read something that said, um, I paid my car payment and it, and it, and it decreased my credit score. And I'm just like, what? I finished, yeah, like I, the person finished paying their car and it decreased their credit score. It lowered their credit score. So it's like, man. But you guys, I just wanted to check in real quick, come in real quick. And the message of today is like, find your way of being centered. Find what you love to do. And I know that it's so weird how it works because when I decided to travel to Spain was because it was something within me that I've, I've been missing. You know, I've been missing something and I wanted to do it. And it's so scary sometimes to do the things that make us happy. And it's so weird. Like, why is that like that? Why are we so afraid of doing what makes us happy. Instead, we should be that should be a norm. That should be normal. But you guys, I'm just checking in real quick before I go to bed. I just wanted to let you guys know what, what's been going on and what I've been dealing with and stuff like that and Yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.